All right, you guys, time for your health check and Monday mornings we like to get motivated for the week. OK, so today we've got five things to teach your kids specifically that they won't learn in school necessarily, uh, whether they're at home or, or in the classroom. So joining us from Pittsburgh is best selling author Danny DeNovo. Danny, good morning. Thank you so much for being here with us. Good morning. It's so good to be here. OK, so your book is called Get in a Good Mood and Stay There. Holy moly, that could be a lot to ask sometimes. <laughs> Tell me what you do to get there. Well, honestly, I work at it a little bit every day. I do some meditation every morning. I do a gratitude practice every day. I have all these little tips and practices that I put in place and I make sure that I do work on them every day so that at times when I'm feeling down or when we're having a rough time like we are right now, my happiness is still available to me. Mm, I like that. Yeah, and I usually tell folks like give it at least 10 days, 21 days to really stick to um, a discipline, right? So as a parent, Parent, I think it's really important to teach your child and to show them how to navigate all of this as well. How do you do that? Well, I know my child has just as many questions as I do right now. So I utilize an acronym called TEACH that just helps me make sure that she's on a good level with everything and that I'm checking in with her. The T stands for thinking, and this means teaching your child how to think for themselves. That includes taking old information and looking at it with new information coming in. This fosters innovation and creativity for our children, and that's what solves problems. And the, when you, yeah, go, go ahead. I was going to say, the E is for experiences. We learn by experiencing things, but not if we aren't paying attention. And so with my daughter, while she's going through something, I like to ask lots of questions. What did you see? What did you feel? What did you hear? And then at the end of the experience, ask her more questions just to make sure that the learning stuck for her. Yeah. And I like, I mean, the part about attitude, it's so crucial, right? Because how we sort of um, learn to deal with things, how to, how to cope with things, as a child is really how we do it as an adult. So learning young, what you're talking about is so, so, so important. Well, when we learn young, we can build upon those skills. And attitude is more than just, you know, kind of how we look at the day. It is how we perceive our own confidence and our ability to learn. And for children, you can see why that's so important. And I feel like also children are always watching you. So how you behave in these stressful situations, <laughs> they're taking in as well. Yes, all of these things are lead by example. You have to have a good attitude if you want your child to have a good attitude. You have to work on going through that fear barrier every day and learning new things on your own if you want your child to do the same. All right, Danny, thank you so much. We appreciate you getting us started on the right foot this morning. It was a pleasure to be here. All right, 647 now. And